All right, what's up? This is Colby Cheese, and you are watching another StarCraft II custom map strategy and commentary. This time we are playing Overrun, which is a very entertaining defense style game. And uh, it's, I really like this one because it does have a lot of really cool effects in it. And uh, you'll see that there's like a day and night cycle inside here and a lot of really cool stuff like that. So anyways, when you start off the game, you're going to have four allies. Uh, they're not really doing anything to help you. You're all on your own, but it is cool to have other people in the game. Now, the uh, what you want to do when you start this is watch how I am placing down my buildings. Uh, obviously, at the very first, you're going to want to build a barracks and then three bunkers. And then you're going to want to fill those bunkers with marines. That's all you want to do with your money uh, at the very beginning. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. And watch how I place my buildings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here because the rest of this you know, is not too exciting. Um, you want to have your three bunkers not staggered. You want to have them exactly flush with each other. And the reason I put my barracks there is I put it two spaces from the bunkers and a space up and over from my uh, command center. And I'll show you why later. It's going to be uh, very important how you position your buildings because at uh, level 10, you're actually going to have a boss level where units will spawn everywhere on the map via worms, not just from the front as you see them coming right now. Uh, so there you go, I did build my engineering bay next, that's the next thing you want to build so that you can actually upgrade the bunker space on your bunkers and then fit more marines inside of them. All right. Um, so as soon as you get enough money, you're going to want to, there you go, I just clicked the upgrade and I'm going to go ahead and fill all of the bunkers up with the marines. Uh, I'm going to be supply blocked at this point, so I'm going to have to build a supply depot next. Uh, so here in a sec you'll see where I build it right there. So I go ahead and build the supply depot right there and That's gonna wall off units from coming on the top side um, To the back of my buildings, which I'm actually gonna put some units behind the bunkers in just a sec. You'll see so I just filled up the uh, The bunkers there with more Marines and you can see the other guy here He did stagger his bunkers and what happens when you do that is all the units are gonna attack the first bunker and They're not gonna spread out their damage between the bunkers which uh, that'll, that'll hurt you really later on in the game, which uh, you'll see this guy doesn't do too well once uh, he gets to about level 7 or 8. Okay, uh, at this point I'm researching the speed upgrade for Marines. Once you fill the, marine, uh, the bunkers with Marines, spill, uh, research the speed upgrade and then upgrade your barracks so that you can upgrade Hellions. I'm going to train about 7 Hellions and place them right behind the, the bunkers. And you do want to put the Hellions on hold position. Once you put them on hold position, they're not going to run out and do crazy stuff. They're just going to sit there and burn everything, okay? So as you can see, I'm not really taking any damage. I did have to build another bunker, and obviously I built it on the bottom side now. And this is going to keep my Hellions protected, and I can also get them out later by lowering down the bunkers. So that, or the, sorry, the supply depots, that's not going to be an issue. Another cool thing about this map is all the units do kind of have custom uh, stuff, or like the bunkers, they can actually heal themselves at level 1. They have 200 energy and a heal costs 125. So uh, you kind of want to just save that for the very end, but it is good. Uh, about level 7, you're probably going to have to heal your bunkers because the Hydralisk level is, is uh, kind of a test of how well your little defense here is. Level 7 and level 8 is going to destroy most people who don't build correctly. Uh, you'll see this guy here, yellow, uh, yeah, the little staggering, he already lost one bunker. Uh, the guy on top, he's actually taking my advice, I don't know, I, I sped everything up so you can't really read the text too much, but uh, I told him just to follow my advice, and he does actually pretty well this game. Uh, as you can see, the Hellions, I did up, you do want to upgrade the damage on them, or, or sorry, the range, that's how you get the blue flame there, the range is going to give them a uh, pretty big advantage there. After you get your seven Hellions, you're going to want to get two upgrades on the uh, from the bunker. And that's going to upgrade your Marines and your Hellions. Uh, I do not get the third upgrade just because of the money cost, and I like to save my money. Once you get the two upgrades, um, you're going to build two more bunkers on the bu on the back side of your Hellions, and you want to leave about um, an extra space. The reason for this is because in level two, you're going to want to put tanks there, and if you don't want to leave enough space, the tanks will not be able to fit. But as you can see, I do put the two bunkers there. They have enough room uh, to protect me, and then I'm going to just try and enclose it a little bit better with, uh, with another supply depot. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and fill those next two bunkers up with Marines, and at that point, you're just going to want to start massing up um, money. 
and so there's not really anything else you're gonna see me build until level two once uh, see level seven here yeah this is about where it gets tough for most players he's about to lose that yeah he loses that bunker uh, pretty soon he's gonna lose his units yeah there goes the Marines and uh, I'm actually about to lose bunker here because I'm not paying attention I let my bunkers burn until about 50 HP and then I heal them so that I get the the most because your heal does heal the entire bunker could have saved that one but wasn't like I said wasn't paying attention uh, so that does kind of suck 50 gold uh, 50 minerals down the hole Oh well, I still do quite well in the end anyways. Uh, here's the level that the bottom guy is really going to de get demolished in. Um, I don't really have a problem because I have the Hellions and Bunkers and everything like that. Um, yeah, see they can't even get close to me. Same thing for the guy on the top. Uh, unfortunately for this guy, he has no Bunkers and his Hellions just, yeah, he, yeah, it's done. So he leaves the game and all those units are gone. Now it's just me and the top guy. Now, uh, the yellow units got brought over to my side, but I sent them out um, after just a sec because I did not want the advantage. I wanted to be able to show you guys. Uh, I didn't want you to see that, um, you know, I beat it with, with an unfair advantage. So I put them on the top guy so he can so he can have the advantage. And I'm going to go ahead and beat the game without uh, any kind of unfair advantage. Anyways, we're about to come up. This is level 9. We're about to come up to the very last level. I'm going to slow the game down in just a sec so you can actually see how the battle takes place. There is a little bit of micromanagement involved, and you're going to have to uh, be on top of things because worms are actually going to pop out uh, at random locations on the map, so you don't really have a control over where they pop up. But what you want to do is uh, if they pop up on a certain side, you can micro your hellions around. Okay, so here it goes. Yeah, right there, he pops out right in the middle, which kind of sucks, so I lower my supply depots and I send my Hellions to the other side of the bunker, and that's going to protect them uh, from getting demolished, and if you leave them there, they will completely get demolished because they'll be the first thing to get its attack. Uh, this bunker here, it's going to be okay, I'm just going to have to use my heal on it. As you can see, the bunkers in the back are really useful in this level, as they do provide that extra burst of damage. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move my Hellions back inside because the guys did pop up and I, you see I did raise the Supply Depot as well. This is going to protect them from getting attacked by the melee units. Now right here, watch what I do. Uh, since they popped up on my bunker again, I'm not going to have enough energy to heal it. So in order to keep it from dying, I'm going to actually send my Marines out and they will start focusing another bunker. And uh, I do want to sa save the Marines, so I put them on a, you can see the little rally point, so they automatically left. And that's going to save the bunker until I have enough energy to actually heal it. And I'm just going to keep my Marines safe because they will die very quickly if you try to put them inside the fight. Um, once that bunker gets up to 125, oh, here's this one's about to die. So I will heal it right at about 30 health, so it's going to be fine. Uh, this one here almost has enough energy, and then I can put my marine, Marines back inside of it. Oh, and I did lose a Hellion there. That was not good. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened, but oh well, it happens. Um, Hellions aren't too expensive, but you really don't want to lose them. Uh, there we go. I healed the bunker, put the Marines back in, and we should be good to go. About to lose another Hellion. On this level, it does kind of suck. Sometimes the Hellions do get focused, and that's never good. As you can see, I built, uh, I do believe I built it about, yeah, I lost another one and another one. Wow. I uh, really wasn't even watching that too much until just now when I noticed it. So yeah, I, I did realize I, I realized it in the game and I had to go ahead and build some more Hellions because I didn't want to lose too many buildings in this. Oh man, I lost another one. Wow. So yeah, obviously not doing too well on units here. Keep losing units and that's never a, a good thing in this match. But nonetheless, I, um, I did beat it and, and you know, obviously could have done a lot better but I am saving up minerals. You can see at the top right, I've got about 1,300 minerals saved up. I uh, did lose that bunker, didn't have enough energy to heal it, so I went ahead and took my Marines out and just trying to micro them around. I don't want to lose too many units at this point. Uh, the level's almost over, got about 20 seconds left, and, uh, and then I should be fine. Gonna heal that bunker up. No, I guess I didn't have enough energy. So, gonna lose the units there. Oh, oh, yeah, got them out. Oh, nice. So, did save those units from the top bunker. Unfortunately, I did have to spend the money to build another one. So, I have spent quite a bit of money on this last level from losing stuff, uh, which is unfortunate. You know, 
perhaps uh, perhaps we could have done a little bit better on that. But uh, as far as how much money I can save, they 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 go. I I you can see that the um, the reapers came in. You'll get reapers right at the very end of the the level. Anyways, that's the end of level uh, of the first phase. Um, part two, you'll actually see phase two, which gets much more difficult. And I'll show you what you uh, what you need to do at that point. But anyways, thanks for watching. And go ahead and move on to part two. This is Colby Cheese. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment if you like the video. All right.